Hey guys, so I'm finally getting around to doing another meal planning, freezer cooking video. I know it's been a while. We've had a really, really tough last month or so, um, and I hope to fill you guys in on some of that um, soon. But today, I'm going to share with you some freezer cooking um, meals that we're doing. These are not my recipes. One of them kind of is. It's just one I made up. But uh, most of these I found online. And I will leave the link for those recipes below. Um, but let's get right into it. Okay, so I am um, one-handed. I don't have my tripod. My tripod, both of my tripods have actually lost the thing that holds my camera. There's a baby bump. Um, so uh, I can't film this. I don't know how to set it up some way. Um, but I want to show you this. I've got a thing of... Uh, package of cream cheese and I've got some chicken here I cooked all my chicken yesterday um, this is was in the crock pot and it is um, seasoned with like taco seasoning this is for taco soup and this recipe and then this I uh, baked in the oven um, and we made a chicken casserole last night and used some of it I'm going to use some of this in some lunches and then freeze the other um, for a chicken enchilada meal that we have coming up. I was going to mix it, um, but I don't have everything that I need, and I'm a little weary of freezing like sour cream and stuff. So I'm just going to freeze the chicken for that. Um, but for right now, this is all I'm doing. I've got my cream cheese, it's softened. I'm going to take some of my chicken, and I'm going to take some of this um, Kobe Jack cheese. You can use taco cheese. Um, if you have it, that's great. We just buy this at Aldi's and get a big, um, a couple bags of it for the month. So that's typically what we use. So you, what, all you're going to do is mix your um, chicken, shred, shred your chicken up, mix it in here with some cheese, however much you like. And then we're going to put it in these tortillas and roll them up and freeze them for quick lunches and they are so good um, everybody in my house loves them okay so I put about I want to say about three I cut them in half so um, I put about three in here and I'm gonna go ahead and shake some taco season in okay if I can get this open we just use this from Sam's I think I mentioned it on videos before um, and I just went ahead and added some more even though I cooked that in my crock pot with um, that season on it um, just to um, really make sure because once this freezes a lot of the spice tends to go away and we don't really like our spicy but you do want to taste it um, and um, be able to taste it especially with all the cheese in here so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up Okay, so I think I got that mixed pretty well. Um, with the chicken being cold, it is better. I should have done this last night when I had the chicken a little warmer. Um, it does tend to mix well, um, but we had, had two crock pots full and a pan of uh, uh, oven full of chicken that we cooked last night. So we have a lot of chicken to put up, and I just was not, I was done. By the time it was done cooling, I wasn't coming back in here. So now I'm just going to get my assembly line going to where I can fill these up. The magic really happens because it does not look that good to me right now. The magic happens when you warm these up. That cream cheese fluffs up and the cheese melts and it's all gooey. Sorry, Mason's still in my chicken. Um, but it really um, makes a big difference once they're warmed up. But you don't want to put too much in these. Um, these are the little shells. Um, we did do the big shells. A lot of, a little of this goes a long way. So you don't want to put too much. Okay, guys. So, um, I just wanted to show you. This is about how much I put on. Um, maybe, I want to guess around three tablespoons. Um, if I would have added just a little more chicken. And usually, when I have the um, chicken warm, it mixes better. So, I can usually gauge a little bit better of how much chicken. So, there's a lot of cream cheese in this. But, I ended up getting all but three. 
out of my pack of 20. So um, I was very close, but usually it's it's like spot on. I can get um, 20 out of um, one pack of cream cheese, the cheese and the chicken. So um, I'm going to just, you do have to like get messy and I'm trying to do this with one hand, um, but kind of just mold it out. You don't want it too close to the edges. Um, and then you'll just, um, you know, roll it up. And then I'm just sticking them up here. Um, and then I'm going to throw them in a Ziploc bag and throw them in the freezer. And these I just cook, wrap them in a paper towel. And um, I think we cook them for a minute, minute and a half. Um, depending on if we have one or two in there. Um, but they don't take long. So, Or um, if you wanted this as a dinner, you could also um, freeze these in like one of the casserole dishes. Um, side by side and lay it out for, um, like in the morning or whatever and then put it in the oven and then once they're about done you could probably like top them with cheese and sour cream or something um, or just eat them the way they are so um, this is our first meal I'm going to the second meal so what I'm working on now is the next two meals and it's gonna be really loud in here the rest of the filming um, the first one's beef and broccoli, and I've already um, got my food saver bags done. I've got my broccoli, uh, my seasoning, and my steak. I've got some sirloin strip, and I'm just cutting them up. I'm going to throw it all in this bag with some uh, soy sauce, and um, or maybe it's not soy sauce. I'll have to look on here. Yeah, with some oil and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> I'll have to look on there. Um, I'm throwing that in the bag, and then I just sent my husband to the store. We didn't have everything for our honey um, pork tenderloin, so he's going to get some more stuff that we need for that. Um, yeah, uh, Mason is working on this, tackling the big bag of ground beef. I'm cooking um, all but two batches of it, and I'll be doing two batches of hamburger steak. So, um, that's what we're working on right now. Okay, so all I added to that um, was an onion. Um, so I did broccoli, the steak, the onion, and the seasoning. And I don't know why that's going again. <laughs> um, that's all I added to this. Um, it, you do need to put some oil in it if you put it in your skillet. Um, but in the crock pot, you don't really need to add anything. Uh, maybe a little water, but um, if you know anything about a food saver, it's not fun to freeze liquids. So, um, for that sake, I'm just going to leave it just like this so that it gets it nice and um, air-free and can save, um, save in my freezer for a while if we don't end up using this within the next month because it will get freezer burnt. So, um... This one is done, and it's going in the freezer. I'm still waiting on that, and we're still cooking our meat. I'm fixing to mix some burgers up. Okay, guys, so we have got all the ground beef cooked. We've got all the freezer meals done. I'm going to go through my freezer in just a minute. I've got one playing choo-choo train. Um, so it's not really late. We had a late lunch, um, so nobody's really hungry, but we're kind of snacky. So I've just got some of that beef that I just cooked. I just cooked my last um, like batch of it. And I had some Dorito or nachos. So I just threw it in there, mixed some um, cheese and salsa in it. And I forgot to put the taco seasoning in. So what I did with the sour cream is I mixed the taco seasoning in it. I'm gonna spread it over, put some cheese on top and put it in my broiler for a few minutes. And it'll be easy snack. Um, one of my favorites when we're freezer cooking. Hey guys, so I'm going to go ahead and show you my freezer. It's the next day. I was just so tired last night. Um, I did want to share, I don't know if a lot of you that freezer cook use um, these containers, but you can get 10 of them for four. I think it was 4.88 at um, Walmart, 
which is a really good deal. Um, we go to discount stores, um, local discount stores, and still can't find them for that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you through my freezer, show you what's in here. Um, and like I said earlier, I'll leave all the links to these recipes in the blog post. You can find that link in the description. And let's get started. All right, so hopefully I can um, keep my... Uh, door open here um so we've got my husband and son this is my husband's deer that he just killed my husband my son killed his first deer today um so we've got up here i've got some of that crock pot chicken um and then i've got some meatballs that i made last um last month yeah so i got four um packs of ground beef that I've cooked. Um, like I said, I don't like to, those are for chili, stroganoff, um, spaghetti, and something else. Maybe tacos. I can't remember. Um, really, really easy. Um, this is strawberry jam, in case you're wondering. Um, so back here, I end up getting um, two packs of seven, so 14 hamburger steak patties. And I just separate those with um, with uh, wax paper in between the layers so they don't um, uh, get stuck together. I went ahead and put all of those um, chicken tacos in a freezer um, food saver bag. Um, and then this one is the um, uh, steak and broccoli. Beef and broccoli. This is the chicken for the enchiladas that has already been baked or grilled, kind of. This is for taco soup. It's already got the taco seasoning in it. This was a little extra of, of the baked chicken, so I can have that for lunch, or we can have it with some nachos or something. Um, this lovely big bag is the honey um, soy pork tenderloin, and... Um, it will need to be resealed because I needed to let that liquid freeze because there was so much liquid in it. Um, okay, so I just counted and I have enough meat for th um, about 14 meals. This big silver thing is a pork loin, a pork Boston butt. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then I just keep all my freezer vegetables. We just put corn up down there. Um, but, um, yeah, that's a lot. That's not counting our um, lunch taco, chicken tacos, which could be a meal and lunches um, if we needed it to. So I've got about 13 to 15 meals in here, um, depending on how you look at it. And we don't cook every night. We A lot of times we'll have, it's really late. Um, like, let me turn you around here. Okay, so like for right now, for instance, it's hay season and my husband's a farmer, so he's hay in fields till dark, um, from morning till dark. Um, so that's going to be that way for a couple weeks. And then um, he has, he's a firefighter, so he's gone a lot. So a lot of times if we eat a big lunch, we'll just eat like a sandwich or um, even a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or a banana sandwich. Or like something that, like we done last night with the nachos. Um, so just easy, less filling, less cooking kind of top meals. So that is it, guys, for this video. I'm going to get out the door. Um, please uh, hit subscribe, like, and give it a thumbs up if you liked this video and you want to see more. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Um, I stay tuned for a pregnancy update and just kind of a general life update that I kind of want to give you guys and fill you in on what's going to happen in the next couple months.